building suspense. Everybody, yeah. Rock your body, yeah. Every oh, we're someone <laughs> back. She's back. All right. Something like that. We're close. We should have said Brooke and Farron are back. You know. All right. People are just gonna have to round up on that one and give it a ten. <laughs> yes. <laughs> give it a ten. I yeah. love that. Okay, we're back together again. I was out last week. How was it? It was it was good. It's relaxing. That's exciting. It's hard to relax when you're a one. An Enneagram one, in case you didn't know. I'm just saying numbers. Yeah. Well, we both survived, so that was good. Yes. There yes. we go. Now, did you see a snake at the river? Because I noticed you posted zero days without seeing a snake. That was in my driveway yesterday, <sighs> or Wednesday. I was going to get the trash cans back in, and I walked out, and it's just in my driveway. Guess what? What? The exterminator guy that comes and like treats your house every so often mm -hmm. just to keep up and keep the bugs out. Mm -hmm. He said there's the stuff you sprinkle, and it doesn't kill the snakes, but they can't stand it, and they just evacuate from your house. And so Jacob was supposed to call and tell you about it. Give him a minute. Jacob, <laughs> don't call me now, we're on live, but in about like 20 minutes maybe call. Yeah, and then I'll post it so that way if you guys are like Brooke and have snake yeah. problems, you too I don't can be snake free. Yes, that would be a lovely, a lovely thing. Yeah, I'd love to be snake free. We don't always talk about snakes. It's what we do. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I'm a magnet and I don't want to be. <laughs> Anyway, okay guys, this past week was episode 54. We had a listener's choice episode. Yes, with Fools in Love. Yeah, so Fools in Love, they have a podcast. Follow them on Instagram, it's just at Fools in Love, foolsinlove.com. Fools in Love everything. Fools in Love podcast. So follow them, they do, uh, they are a couple, they work together, not only on the podcast and blog stuff, but they actually have full-time jobs aside from the podcast and they work together so yeah. commuting every day imagine working with your spouse just everyone out there think about that for a second that wasn't a question for us <laughs> no it'd be a heavenly heavenly so i think also with the whole covid thing going on right now everyone's working in closer, closer. quarters yes. yes even yes. if it's two separate jobs you're still there's lots of bodies in the house Jacob and I have talked about this, but I think the distinguishing feature is he's not passionate about what I do and I'm not passionate about what he does. So the reality of us like working together doesn't really exist. But we do have to parent together and that is a full-time job. Fact, that is true. So their episode is all about how to manage all of that, how to be fully at work, fully at home, fully with your kids, just being present wherever you are. So you know what I fear from a lot of people is like, when their job during this situation, during COVID and at home, that you know they feel like their job's important and their uh, spouse or partner feels like their job's really important. How do you decide like who gets to go work their job and who maintains the house or has to you know take care of the kids or whatnot? So I really like the feedback they gave on having those tough conversations about you or I or when and how and mm -hmm. so I like that part. I, I guess it was this comic or meme or whatever that I saw and it was the part of COVID no one's talking about and mm. it's the screen of the person working and then all around them the toys the dishes the dirty house and you're just like yeah because I can't full-time job plus your full-time job plus the kids are home plus more again the more traffic so many people in the house so many 24 7 so many people so, everywhere yes okay so that's I'm gonna skip that and come back to that okay which is a good segue into our first digital course yeah so this is exciting we've been keeping this in the back of our minds and now we're actually in the process of making our first digital course and it is all about the five rules of fair fighting yeah so it's gonna be about how to resolve conflict while maintaining a healthy relationship. So that's what it's gonna be about. And it's gonna be broken down nice and simple for you guys. It's gonna be fabulous. Guys, fighting's inevitable, but if you wanna get through it the best way you can. And come out together on the other end. Yeah, then uh, this definitely is for you. Mm -hmm. And throwing it in there, this will be the lowest price it will ever be offered. Boom. Ever. So if you wanna get in on a founding member's Boom. price, just be, thinking about that because it'll be lifetime access. So as 
it gets better, it gets more expensive, it's gonna, gonna keep adding to it. So get in on the founding price, that way you don't even have to worry about it later, but more news on that, make sure you're subscribing to the email newsletter. That's Those will be the first people who get to know about it. So if you want in on that, make sure you're doing that. Speaking of being an email subscriber, you're getting a freebie Sunday. It's gonna be a workbook that goes for our new mini series, Switch on Your Brain. So make sure you're subscribing to the newsletter by Saturday night because the email rolls out on Sunday morning super early. So make sure you're there so you get the freebie because that's the only time we're giving it away. Yay! Woohoo! What's up, Starla? I see you watching. She was on last week. Yay! She did well. She was Look brave. At you. <laughs> Thank you for volunteering. Yeah, she didn't have much of a choice. Yeah. Hey, be on this with me. Hi. Yes, <laughs> you're doing it. Okay. So we mentioned a new mini series. It'll be 10 episodes, so 10 weeks worth of stuff coming at you. And it's on the book, Switch on Your Brain, which I'm going to link the affiliate, affiliate link right now while you kind of talk about it. Yeah, so um, we touched on it our last live fr last Friday night, but it's all about switching on your brain quite literally literally <laughs> switching on your brain all the proteins and the dna um but i just again the same quote stuck with me from pioneer peace pioneer Pil peace pilgrim peace pilgrim she is a pioneer i'm sure as well um but anywho she mentioned that if you knew the power your thoughts had then you would never think a negative thought again and so if you struggle with negative self-talk or anxiety or depression, um, this is a really good book for you, how to really take control of your thoughts, take them captive and use them for your good. So we definitely recommend that book for all of our listeners, even if you're pretty strong, have a strong mental capacity, we all have our moments where you know tragedy strikes or we're stressed out and so this is a right really great tool for your toolbox so the book looks like this switch on your brain and it the tagline is keynote to peak happiness thinking and health so you want to be happy here's this book you want to think better here's this book you want to be healthy here's this book <laughs> so the affiliate link is below on this so make sure you click that it'll go right to amazon you can book it it'll be great so i love how okay has anyone seen um, 100 humans it's on netflix it's mm -hmm. a whole research they test 100 humans on different things yes and i watched an episode today and it was the happiness episode like how can certain things make you happier and i love how the book actually breaks down scientifically how you can make yourself happier and lead a happier life all by maintaining what's in your mind so it's it's extremely fascinating. I think a lot of us know it's possible, but the how-to is the piece that we're missing. And so this book, the first half is the science behind it. Again, we love to provide you guys with things that aren't just fluffy and neat to hear and say and see on a pretty quote. On Even Pinterest. though they are those things. They are all those things, <laughs> but it's actually scientifically Substance. proven. And then the second part of the book is all the application part of it. So yeah. if you know that's possible, but you just aren't sure how to get there, that's what we do. We bring you the books that give you the how-to. Yes, and don't let words like neuroscience intimidate you. Because we're going to tell you what it means and we're going to talk about it on a human level where we are not doctors. So Dr. We will, Brooke. Yeah, yes, that's <laughs> me. So we'll explain it in a way that you guys understand so that way you're not having to throw the book out or I don't know, I don't understand it. We're not going to do that to you. And I also love how it marries science and the Bible. So science is, as we're getting better with technology and science and discovering things, it's catching up to what the Bible is already saying. So everything is biblically backed that um, is on here, and I love it. So that just makes me super excited. We're going to have someone who they have, I think it's their doctorate in apologetics. Mm. We're going to have them on the miniseries. Um, he, his specialty is apologetics, and he's a doctor, so... I'm Brooke, just, what are the apologetics? Uh, that's where you are debating why religion, a certain religion is correct, so like Christianity, how we can prove that it is uh, the thing. Thank so, you. He's going to do a way better job, because that's his specialty, <laughs> so we'll save it. I think his episode's going to be 65-ish. Yeah, but you should tune in ahead of time, so you can keep up with what we're talking about and asking him. Yeah. 
Well, guys, have a happy Juneteenth. Yes. And shout out to my sister. It's also her birthday. So happy birthday, Sydney. Big day. Big day for everybody. All right. Good job, people. And we got recording to do. We're going to go record some episodes. So there's that. Bye. Bye.